Start putting your hands together. Come on, put your hands together. Praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Amen. And what a message to get ready. Amen. God is good all the time. Hallelujah, somebody. God is good all the time. And we celebrate 
that awesome God this morning. Amen. We welcome you. Those of you that are in the sanctuary, God bless you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Those that are guests in the sanctuary, we welcome you. But not only do we welcome those that are worshiping with us in the sanctuary, we welcome those that are online worshiping. God bless you. God bless you. This is a day that the Lord has made. Guess what? We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. 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 God is good all the time. Amen. This is our first Sunday, Communion Sunday. Amen. So we want to remind those that came in. We hope that you picked up your communion elements when you came through the door this morning. Praise God. So that you'll be ready for a communion celebration. And then, not only that, those of you at home, amen, make sure you get your, amen, your elements, your, 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 your unleavened bread, your juice, amen, your crackers, amen, whatever you're going to celebrate with today, amen, prepare yourself at the end of the service, amen. We will have our covenant, amen, restate our covenant commitment, and we will celebrate the Holy Communion, amen. Amen. Do me one more favor. Amen. Put your hands together one more time. God is good. God is good all the time. Amen. Amen. And so we want to celebrate him today. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for another day. Thank you for your grace, your mercy, and your loving kindness, Lord God. We are so excited about what's going to happen today. We come to worship you in spirit and in truth. You are the true and the living God. There's none like you. You're worthy of glory. You're worthy of honor. You're worthy of praise. And Lord, you are the guest. You are the, the, the one that we are directing our worship toward, Lord God. So Lord God, forgive us of our sins. Cleanse us, Lord God, from all of our iniquities and transgressions, Lord God. David would say it this way, purge us with hyssop, wash us, and we'll be whiter than snow, Lord God, creating us clean hearts, renew right spirits within us, restore the joy to us of thy salvation, and Lord, we'll be witnesses for you, we'll, we'll tell others about you, we'll teach transgressors your ways, Lord God. We ask a special blessing on all who will be leading the worship experience today. Bless our preachers today, bless our deacons and deaconess our trustees, Lord God, our officers of the church, Lord God, bless, bless, bless our ministry leaders, and, and, and Lord, bless our musicians, our ushers, our praise team, Lord God. Uh, we all need a special blessing from you. Then bless your people collectively, Lord God, that we might worship you. Bless you, Lord God. You are welcome in this place. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. I am, I am so excited and on fire. Amen. There is a psalm of praise. Amen. There's a psalm of praise. Amen. That acknowledges and gives glory to God for his faithfulness. Amen. We worship God. Amen. For who he is. Amen. And we praise him for what he has done. Amen. He woke us up this morning. Praise the Lord. He did. He woke us up this morning. So we give him glory. We give him honor. Praise. So the psalmist says, make a joyful shout to the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Would you stand with us for our doxology this morning? It will be on the screen.
our scripture reading at this time. Following the scripture reading, we'll have our prayer for this morning. Amen. We're reading uh, from the book of Daniel, Daniel 1 through 8. And it reads, In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem and besieged it. And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand with some of the articles of the house of God, which he, which he carried into the land of Sinar, the house of his God, and he brought the articles into the treasure house of his God. Then the king instructed Ashpenaz, the master of his eunuchs, to bring some of the children of, of Israel and some of the king's descendants and some of the nobles, young men, in whom he, there was no blemish, but good-looking, good, good gifted in all wisdom, possessing knowledge and quick to understand, who had ability to, to serve in the king's palace and whom they might teach the language and literature of the Chaldeans. And the king appointed them, and the king appointed for them a daily provision of the king's delicacies and of the wine which he drank, and three years of training for them, so that at the end of that time they might serve before the king. Now from among those of the sons of Judah were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, to them, the chief of the eunuchs gave, gave names. He gave Daniel the name Belteshar, 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 to Hananiah, Shadrach, to Mishael, Meshach, and to Azariah, Abednego. But Daniel pr proposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's delicacies, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he, he requested of the chief of the eunuchs that he, might, that he might not defile himself. That, that is the end of God's word for God's people. Amen. 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 Let every heart pray together. Lord, we come now at this hour to worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, we thank you for these people who are in this sanctuary that we can see. We ask, Lord, that you bless them. Bless them in their coming in and in their going out. And then, Lord, there are people who are online that we can't see, but we know that they are there. We, too, ask, Lord, that you bless them in their coming in and going out. And Lord, we can't see you, but we know that you're there. You know, we know that you hold us all in the palm of your hand. Help us to realize, Lord, in our life that we're not victims. That you sent your son into the world that we might have life. And that we might have a full life. That we might even have abundant life. And that whatever we might do, wherever we might go, whoever we might see, that we be, might be a blessing, O oh Lord, in our walk, our worship, and our witness. Uh, even right now, Lord, someone right now needs you. Someone really, Lord, don't know you in the pardon of their sins. And we know, Lord, that one of these old days you're coming back for a church without a spot or a wrinkle. We pray, Lord, that while it's yet day, those who don't know you might come to you, for you're coming back soon and very soon. Even in this past week, Lord, we witnessed an earthquake. You said in your word that these things must come to pass, famines and earthquakes and fires. And your word is being fulfilled, Lord. Help us to realize, Lord, that the Bible has already prophesied that these things must come to pass. Lord, we pray much for this church. Pray much, Lord, that we might even love one another as you love the Son and as the Son love the Father. We thank you, Lord, for our lying down last night. You gave your angels charge of watching over us. 
while we slept in slumber. And while you did not sleep, Lord, your God who never sleeps in slumber. And then early this morning, Lord, you caused us to wake up from our sleeping experience. You clothed us, and for some, you gave food to eat, and, and then here we are, Lord, on another Sabbath day, another communion service, Lord, a day that we've never seen before, and we don't know about tomorrow. We don't know about next Sunday, but we're thankful for right now, and we praise your name, Lord, because you've allowed us to come here in this place to thank you. We have so much, Lord, to be thankful for. We've lost some friends. We've lost some loved ones. They've transitioned from this world to glory. And we know, Lord, that we'll see our mothers and grandmothers and grandfathers and fathers and uncles and nephews, those who have accepted you, who have been washed in the blood of the Lamb. We'll see them again in that place that was not made by hands in glory. And we look forward to the day, Lord, where we will see our brothers and sisters and, and cousins and friends. We, are, we know that we didn't come here to stay. We don't want to have a sad life experience. We want to rejoice in our life. We want to have a full life, Lord, a life of service, a life where all of God's children will be able to serve you, Lord, in spirit and in truth. Yes, Lord, we even want to meet needs. And Lord, we know that you know all things. We can't tell you where to, what to do or where to go because you're God who's everywhere all the time. We can't send you anywhere, Lord, but you told us to pray and pray without ceasing. And you told us in your word that the adversary is like a roaring lion. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But we hold on to you tightly, Lord. Please hold on to us tightly, Lord. Build a hedge around us so that we may not fall by the wayside. And Lord, you know our dear friends are in yonder's hospital. So many names that we can't name them all. Lord, so many are sick. So many are shut in. We pray much for Deacon Jackson and his family and his daughter. We pray much for Sister Georgetta Kent and Brother Corey Kent. We pray much, O oh Lord, for all of those who stand in need. We know, O oh Lord, that in these old frail bodies, that we too one day might fall victim to poor health. We pray now, even, Lord, as we succumb to our health challenges, that you will never leave us nor forsake us. And as we go through our life challenges, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would help us to keep our faith strong in you. Now, Lord, we pray that your word will come into our pastor, that he might feed our sin-sick soul. We need you right now, Lord. We need a word from on high, Lord. We need to feel you, Lord, right now today. We need to know that you're God who's God who's able to do all things, Lord, but fail. Lord, we just bless your name. And we're thankful to be here right now, Lord. We're thankful, Lord, that we've come together so that we might be able to say that we worship you on the Sabbath day and on this communion day as well. Some boys locked up in yonder's prison. Someone is in, in yonder's child care institution, Lord. Help us, O oh Lord, to be mindful of those who stand in need. And so we go down from this prayer right now. Lord, we, we are trusting in you. We're not trusting in ourselves, oh Lord, because you know that we're weak. But thou, God, are strong. We pray this prayer of faith in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And the church said? Oh, I can't hear you. The church said? Oh, give the Lord a hand to pray. Let us stand.
Good morning, Bethel Baptist family. Today in house and for those watching online, here are today's Sunday announcements. Today, Pastor Williamson will be the guest preacher at the ordination service for Minister Diane Ashfall at Mount Zion Christian Baptist Church in Mount Vernon. All are welcome to attend. For this week, the scheduled meetings are as follows. Thursday at 7 p.m., choir rehearsal. Youth rehearsal will be Thursday before 4th Sunday at 6 p.m. Saturday, April 13th, the Mobile Food Pantry will be at 9 a.m. Saturday, April 20th, homeless ministry meals will be at 3.30 p.m. Looking ahead, Bethel Baptist Church is partnering with the Urban League of Westchester County Incorporation to help spread the word that Narcan training saves lives. This training will be held in the Fellowship Hall on Sunday, April 14th, immediately following service. To view online, please register at www.bethelbaptistchurchwp.org slash community news. Light refreshments will be served and free kits will be provided. Central Hudson Baptist Association Men of Integrity Luncheon will be Saturday, April 20th at 1230 p.m. at Villa Borghese, Wappingers Falls. Quarterly session will be Wednesday, April 24th at 9 a.m. Second Baptist Church in Middletown. For our men's ministry, our men's ministry is sponsoring a continental breakfast in conjunction with the Westchester Rockland Guardians Association on Saturday, April 27th at 10 a.m. here at Bethel. There is no ticket cost, however, a free will offering will be received. All men are invited to join the discussion, those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Our annual Spring Revival will be April 29th through May 1st, 7 p.m. nightly, from Breaking Barriers to Breakthrough. Reverend Dr. Vernon D. Sheldon will be our guest revivalist. Don't forget our trip to Sight and Sound on April 27th. Please see a committee member for further information. And please continue to pray for all of our sick and shut-in members. Thank you, Bethel family, and happy first Sunday. The White Plains Greenberg NAACP. Let's try it again. <laughs> good morning, my Bethel family. It is so good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. I come before you today with a very important and special announcement. It is with boundless joy that I announce the celebration of our pastor's 20th pastoral anniversary. Amen. Amen. Over the past 20 years, our pastor has played an invaluable role in leading and maintaining our church and this community. Pastor Williamson has been a ray of hope, offering love, encouragement, and support to men, women, and boys throughout this community. With that said, as we celebrate our pastor, you are cordially invited to a fellowship luncheon. That luncheon will be held on May 18th at the mansion here in White Plains on North Broadway from 12 to 4 p.m. The ticket cost will be $125 per person. So start saving your pennies now because we want all to participate and show and express the love 
for our pastor. Okay? For further information, please contact the church office between 9 and 3 p.m. on Thursday. I'm sorry, Monday through Thursday. The committee will also be uh, in the process of preparing a journal ad, a journal rather, to commemorate this special occasion. If you would like to place an ad, you must complete the contract application, submit it along with your fee and a picture no later than April 30th of this month. So please, let's try our best to get those in. The celebration will culminate on Sunday, May 19th at our 10 a.m. worship service. Our guest preacher will be the brother of our beloved pastor, Reverend Joseph D. Williamson III of the Second Baptist Church in Rock Island, Illinois. We invite you all to join us in celebration and worship as we celebrate our pastor and show him the love and appreciation that he deserves. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day, and God bless you all. White Plains Greenberg, NAACP, in honor of Sister Cornelia Evans, uh, received over 200 memberships in her honor, and she would like to say a word. I thank you so much for remembering me, and I will never, never forget the NAACP that I worked hard for, and now I have many of you who are working, and you're walking in my footsteps, and I am happy about it. Thank you so much. Good morning, uh, church. Um, I am chairman of the New York State uh, New York Fathering Conference Committee, and we're having our ninth annual Fathering Conference at the Westchester County Center on Tuesday, April 16th from 8.30 to 1 o'clock. And we would like to invite all of our men to attend and to be engaged with us as we help strengthen our communities. And I want to say that one thing that you may not know about me is that I spent 11 years doing prison reentry. 11 years going into prison. And you know what I found out going into prison? It was people who looked just like me locked up in prison. They looked like the men in this church who were in prison. And they continue to look like the men in this church who are locked up in prison. So you know how it is. You get weary and tired and going into prison and seeing people you know, people you don't know. And then you decide, well, what do you do about that? For these past nine years, Deacon Smith and, and others and Irvin Caesar and, and, and some other mem members from the community, we reconciled that we were going to put a faith on fathers. Not all of our fathers are making poor choices, but we have to do, we have to be helpful in changing the narrative of our black men, right? And I know this for a fact. If we don't do it, nobody else will. And, and you may know also that um, so many of the young boys that we work with in this community, they don't have a father figure or a male figure. Sister Desiree, we do a program at Church Street School called Grandpa's Go to School. And the principal identify young boys who don't have a father figure. Now, you all may not see this work, but a lot of good work is going on. But I would ask that when we go to the county center on the 16th, please join with us, help us, be a part of the solution and not a part of the problem. We're addressing the issue of mental health and the issue of justice in our community. So again, I ask you to be a part of this work. 
Uh, I look at Brother Caesar, he's working with new fathers, and you know, there is good work going on, but Michael, Michael, Rep, Brother Michael Young, we want you to be there. We want you to be there to help us and support us. And again, God is using all of us to do his bidding. So I pray this prayer that you will be with us on the 16th at the, at the Westchester County Center. Join us and help us better love our community. Thank you. Church, say amen, amen. Please, please pass the word about the Father's Conference, amen. Uh, information is on our website as well as online. Uh, you do have to register for it, and there is a uh, registration fee, amen. Uh, praise God. We did receive a thank you card from Sister Lena, uh, Reverend Williamson, and Bethel family. Thank you for your support during my illness and bereavement. I'm so grateful for the love shown, prayers delivered, and faith uh, upholding our confidence that we are all in this together, uh, unwavering love. Sister Lena, and to the trustee, she uh, made a contribution. Uh, so for one of our trustees, uh, uh, pass that contribution. Amen. And we thank Sister Lena, amen, for a generous donation. Amen. And we continue to pray for her and her family during this time. Amen. Uh, uh, again, we're having Narcon. Uh, training here at church following worship next Sunday. There will be uh, individuals taking sign-ups after the worship service today. And so we ask you to sign up so we can get a count. Uh, remember, it's going to be after service, amen, and they will be giving you a kit uh, as part of the training, so we need to get a count for that. So uh, would you uh, please sign up. Uh, the e-newsletter was released this morning. Uh, praise God. If you are on our email list, you should have gotten the e-newsletter. Amen. E-Lights of Hope. Amen. A wonderful, wonderful uh, story of what's been going on at Bethel for the last quarter. Amen. We thank, amen, our, our editorial team, Brother Jamal and uh, Reverend Deb. Amen. Thank you. Amen. And we also thank all those who contributed articles for the newsletter. Amen. Amen. Read the newsletter and see what's been happening over the past months. Praise God. Amen. Would you pray for our sick and shed-in members, uh, Sister Lori Bennett, Sister Tina Mays, Sister Selma Rhodes, Sister Georgetta Kent, uh, Brother Corey Kent, uh, Sister Tia Jackson, Deaconess Florence Green, amen. They were either in the hospital or had pre procedures this uh, past week or need your special prayers. Also, we ask that you would pray for the Wade and Miller fam family as we'll funeralize uh, the son of uh, Sister Pat uh, Wilson Maurice Miller on Friday at 2 o'clock, Friday at 2 o'clock, amen. We solicit your prayers for them, amen. And also Reverend Wade, uh, Clayton Wade is going to be here, uh, and we've been in contact. So pray for the family. Also pray for Sister Jackie Shoulders and family and the passing of a cousin, amen, in Georgia, amen. So we solicit your prayers, amen. Pray for one another. Uh, everybody needs prayer. Amen. And it's good just to have friends. And so good to see everybody's wonderful face this morning. Amen. So many individuals. Amen. Uh, we know we've uh, been challenged. Amen. But good that you're coming out. Amen. And uh, it's just good to see you. I promise not to shout people out just because they're here. Amen. For the first time. Because many have been following us online. Amen. They've been following online and worshiping with us online. Amen. So we're not going to put nobody on the spot. We just say, glad you are here. Amen. Amen. Why don't you just cover somebody next to you? Just tell them glad that you're here. Amen. Whether, whether you've been away for a while or not, we're glad that you're here. Amen. 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 You know, there's, there's something about the power of fellowship. Amen. And friendship. And when you're worshiping the Lord, amen, there's something about a smile on your face, amen, it just makes the worship better, amen. So our choir is getting ready to come, our praise team is getting ready to come, amen, and we, we just want to worship God today. Think about God's goodness towards you. Somebody said, I don't have anything to be thankful for. Guess what? He woke you up this morning. Come on. The Lord woke you up this morning. Come on. He clothed you in your right mind. Come on, somebody. 
Amen. Somebody said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, I know it's the first Sunday, amen, but I ain't too stuck up on first Sunday. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, amen, and all that he's done for me. Come on, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, amen, and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, y'all. Come on, thank you, Lord, for saving me. Come on, somebody's been through something this past week, but the Lord brought you through. Come on, come on. God has been with you. Amen. God upheld you with his mighty hand. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. Amen. Somebody said, I, I, I thought I wasn't going to make it, but guess what? I made it. I made it today. I made it today. Amen. I pressed my way. Amen. I'm like that woman, and I just said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, guess what? I'll be made whole. Well, guess what? You press your way to the worship today. You press your way here today. Amen. And you ought to seek wholeness. You ought to seek healing today. You ought to seek deliverance today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our God is an awesome God. Come on. He is a healer. And he is a deliverer. Hallelujah. And he will forgive you of sins. Amen. He will forgive you. He will deliver you. If you need a deliverance today, God is a deliverer. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He'll make a way for you. Praise the Lord today. Praise the Lord today. Amen. Don't y'all get upset about shouting. Because Jesus said, if these hold their peace, guess what he said? The rocks will cry out. The rocks will cry out. And I don't know about you, but I don't want any rocks crying out for me. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, we thank God because trouble don't last always. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The earth was shaken. But if you stand in the in the in the presence of the Lord, you won't be shaken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many believe that trouble don't last always? Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm so glad. Yeah, trouble don't last away. Come on. I'm so glad. Hey, hey, hey. A trouble don't last away. No, trouble don't last away. I'm so glad. Come on, say. Trouble don't last away. Trouble don't last away. Trouble don't last away. Listen, may not come when you want to. A body's on time. On time. In times of trouble, Ooh. I found him to be a, a friend of mine. Of oh, mine. No. When storm clouds rise in your life, I know he'll be there. Yes, you will. Be there. Every one of your burdens, I know the Lord will help you to bear. Yeah. Come on, say, I'm so glad. Come on, everybody, put your hands together. A trouble don't last away. Away. If you believe it this morning, I'm, I'm so glad. glad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last always. Listen, may not come when you want to. A body's on time. On time. In times of trouble. I found it to be a, a friend of mine. When storm clouds rise in your life, I know he'll be there. Yes, he will. Be there. Every one of your burdens, I know the Lord will help you to bear. bear. I'm so glad. 
Traveling on last always. Traveling on last always. I'm so glad. Traveling on last always. Weeping me. Weeping me. Endure for night. Keep the faith. It will be. Together. Come on, Sopranos. Come on, Sopranos. So say, travel on last away. No, 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 travel on last away. Come on, Tanner. Travel on last away. No, 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 travel on last away.
better say Lord. amen. Amen. We do praise the Lord. Amen. So good to see your wonderful smiling face today. Amen. God has been good to somebody out there because I see a few smiles. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let me try a couple of more times. So good to see your wonderful, amen, smiling face today. Amen. Our God is a good God. Amen. Our God is a good God. Praise the Lord. Amen. My balcony for Amen. So good to see you. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is blessing right now. Amen. Uh, we, we celebrated on Resurrection Sunday. Amen. The Lord just blessed throughout the day. And we thank everybody in our congregation that came together. Amen. It was a wonderful day of worship as we celebrated, amen, the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. We do praise God from whom all blessings flow, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Amen. We ain't going to beat around the bush too much today. We're going to move right into the word. Amen. Uh, turn to, turn with me, turn with me uh, to two passages of scripture, not going to be long passages, Matthew 28, verses 16 through 20, Matthew 28, verses 16 through 20, and Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Amen. Amen. Matthew 28, verses 16 through 20, and Acts, amen, chapter 1, verses one, uh, verse 8, Acts chapter 1, verse 8, amen, amen, and it reads as follows, then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee to the mountain which Jesus had appointed for them. When they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted, and Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And, lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Keep your finger there and just flip over if you want to. Amen. It's on the screen. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Amen. But verse 8. Amen. Disregard, just like the Wizard of Oz, disregard the screen on this one. Amen. Verse 8. I might have sent the wrong thing last night, but it's verse 8. And you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Praise the Lord, everybody. God bless you. You may be seated. Every now and then, every now and then, amen, my computer plays tricks on me. My device will play a trick on me. So, oh, that was yours? Okay, Brother Jamal's claiming it. Amen. It's, it's, good, it's good to have somebody that'll, that'll lay on the sword for you. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God for Brother Jamal. Amen. 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 This, this morning... This morning, oh, uh, can you can you put up our Bible reading real quick, Amen? For uh, we are getting ready to go to the Daniel play, and we're gonna we're gonna set ourselves up, Amen. So we're gonna study Daniel, and so our Bible readings for this month are gonna be based on Daniel coming out of Daniel. The Bible study is gonna focus on Daniel. So the reading for this week is Daniel explained. Daniel explained, amen. We ask you to follow us with the reading, amen, uh, from the YouVersion Bible app, amen. It gets us into the Word every day, amen. If you get into the Bible app, you'll find out that they also have, like, uh, memory verses for the day, and they have, like, a little meditation thing that you can go through, amen. If you started, amen, you got to stay on top of it, amen. I miss Saturday. And I had all them days accumulated. I was feeling so good. Amen. I was back at zero. Amen. Amen. So I started back over. Amen. Doing my memory verses and meditations. Amen. Amen. So we want you to do that. Follow with us in the reading of the book of Daniel, Old Testament book. Daniel was one of the prophets. Amen. Of Israel. A very good story for such a time as this. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, wow. This morning, this morning, I want, I, I, I want to talk about a big ship with a big mission. 
Amen. A big ship with a big mission. Uh, a big ship with a big mission. Amen. You remember uh, just about two weeks ago. Amen. Uh, there was a fully loaded container ship, cargo container ship, named the Dolly. And that big ship left the port of Baltimore, headed with its cargo for Sri Lanka, a journey about 9,000 miles. The ship is about 984 feet long, and they've been comparing it to the Chrysler building and football fields and all of that. But there, here's the bottom line. It's a big ship. It's, it's a big ship. Amen. Come on. Anybody been on a cruise? A, 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 a cruise is a, a cruise liner is a what? Big ship. There, matter of fact, there's two or three cities on a cruise. Amen. Uh, anybody ever went down and visited an a aircraft carrier? Amen. Down in, down in the harbor, down there in the city. Amen. When you visit, amen. We just did one in San Diego. Guess what? It's a big ship. But these big ships have big missions. Amen. This, this ship was uh, uh, leaving the port of Fort McHenry, uh, I mean, leaving the Baltimore port, going up the channel called Fort McHenry, going out to the river and then out to sea. Amen. But you know what happened. Amen. Just after midnight, about 1 a.m. in the morning, something tragic happened. Amen. And they, if, you, if you go online, they got the time-lapse photography. They got, they got the pictures. They got the movie. They got a timeline that will show you, amen, what happened to this big ship with this big mission. Power went out. Not one time. The power went out two times. Amen. They, uh, they lost control of the steering. Amen. And, and you could hear the, the pilot of the ship, experienced seaman, that knows about the port, that knows the challenges and knows the danger, knows how to get a ship out to sea. You could hear... The pilot and the pilot is radioing Mayday. We need some help. Calling for little ships, tugboats, to come and assist the big ship, to help the big ship to accomplish its mission of getting its cargo out of the harbor and to its destination. Unfortunately, the little ships didn't get there in time. And, and unfortunately, the power couldn't get restored in time. Unfortunately, the steering could not be adjusted in time. And so this big ship, this big ship with a big mission, crashed into one of the pillars, one of the supporting, amen, beams that, that held up a bridge. And the bridge came tumbling down. Amen. The big ship had a big mission. The, the ship's job was to get its cargo from the port to its destination. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and it probably had done it and made it Hundreds of times before. But on this night, the ship hit the, pier, hit the pillar and the bridge came tumbling down. Six lives were lost. We could see the wreckage of the bridge. We, we could see some damage that was done. We knew that people's uh, transportation walk uh, route to and from work was disrupted 
But there are some things we didn't see. Because when big ships crash, guess what? They're, they're, there's debris. And there's stuff that's below the waterline. There's stuff that we didn't see. We, we couldn't see the, the 20,000 workers that are going to lose their jobs and lose their income while they repair the harbor. We, 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 we can't see. Amen. All the goods and all the things that were on the container that are not going to get to their destination. We, we can't see the billions of dollars that they say are going to be lost and how our economy is going to be affected. There, there are some things that we cannot see when a big ship, when a big ship gets off course, when a big ship crashes. When a, when a big ship's mission is disrupted, when the ship crashed, questions arose, fears were aroused, investigations are being made. What caused the accident? How safe are the other bridges? How can we keep this from happening again? It was a big ship with a big mission. And when it crashed, it had collateral damage. And it caused people to fear and it caused people to have questions. And, and it caused worries and causes stress and strain. Amen. What happens when a big ship crashes? Like the Dolly, Bethel. And other churches are big ships. Come on. Be Bethel is a big ship. Amen. And, and, and since Bethel is a big ship, guess what? Bethel has a big mission. Amen. And, and, and if we're not careful, guess what? The big ship can lose power. Uh, uh, the, the, the big ship can, can get its guidance off. It can lose its steering mechanism. The, 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 the big ship can be moving so fast through the waters that, that, that we can forget God, eh, amen, and run aground. We can run ashore. We can run against bridges. We can crash into things, amen. A lot of damage happens when the big ship crashes. Bethel is a big ship. Amen. And, and, and we need to think about what can we do to keep our big ship from crashing? But what, what can we do to keep the big ship Bethel from running aground? What, what can we do to keep our big ship? Amen. From, from crashing into bridges and, and causing collateral damage. When the big ship Bethel crashes, major things happen. Lives can be lost. Marriages and families can be destroyed. People on the outside can be locked out like the ships that were locked out of the port. People on the inside can be trapped in. Questions can be raised. Fears can be aroused. People can, can be seeking, is there any word from the Lord? People can be looking for help and looking for encouragement in their lives. And they're just trying to get from the port to their destination. Bethel is a big ship with a lot of cargo. But, but, but we've got to get people from where they are, amen, to where God wants them to be. Amen. We've we got to make sure that our big ship accomplishes the mission. The pilot said, send, send some tugboats. Send some other little ships to help steer the big ship. And, and, and I just want to challenge you today to look at the text and see how many ships, how many little ships can you see 
in this text. I, I, you know how they send you the, the cross, the, the puzzle, and they send you the picture, and they say, how many can you count in this picture? And, and the more ships you see, they say, the smarter you are. Guess what? The more ships you see, the more biblically literate you are. The more ships you see. Amen. Amen. We're going we're gonna to give you a spiritual IQ test today. How many, how many ships can you find in the passage this morning? Amen. They, I, you know how they say, and, and, and somebody will put on Facebook and say, I found seven. Somebody will say, I found six. Amen. How, how many ships can we find? How many little ships can we find that will help the mothership, that will help the big ship to accomplish their mission? Uh, first ship, Matthew 28, 16. There, there, there's at least at least one ship in that verse. Amen. If y'all help me, it ain't going to take long to find the ships. You know, it don't take long to find the ships. Help me find the ship. Amen. Then the disciples went away to Galilee to the mountain which Jesus had appointed for them. There is a ship in that verse. Uh -huh. Amen. The first ship that the church needs is called leadership. Come on, the church needs leadership. Amen. And, and, and in this text, guess what? The disciples had the ideal leader, the perfect leader. His name was Jesus. Amen. And their leader said, if you follow me, I will make you fishers of men. The leader said, if you follow me, amen, I'll take care. If you follow me and trust me, amen, I'll give you life more abundantly. What, what do we need? We need the little ship called leadership. And that leadership first of all starts with Jesus Christ he is the ideal leader he is the great head of the church he is the one who's really in charge I'm just under him I'm just an under shepherd but but Jesus is the shepherd of the church he is the great head of the church and all the leadership that we should be doing should flow from our connection with the head follow me and I'll make you leaders of men. Now there's a strange thing about leaders, amen, because if you don't have any followers, you're not really leading. I believe it's John Maxwell and others who say, amen, if you're, if, you're follow, if you're leading and nobody's following you, you're just taking a long walk. Amen. There are a lot of people that are just walking around. Ain't nobody following them. Amen, amen, amen. But thanks be to God, we got a leader that people follow. We've been following our leader for over 2,000 years because our leader, first of all, he's a shepherd leader. Amen, you ought to write that down. He is a shepherd leader. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still water. He restores my soul. Guess what? Amen. I, 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 yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow, of death I fear no evil why because thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me you anoint with my head with oil guess what my cup runs over because the Lord is my shepherd surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life because the Lord is my shepherd I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever Amen. Not only is he a shepherd leader, but guess what? He's a servant leader. Amen. I, I, that's what I like about Jesus. He said, I didn't come to be served, but I came to serve. Amen. I came to help you. I came on your behalf. Amen. Amen. He is a servant leader. And because he is a good leader, guess what? We ought to be followers. Amen. Amen. So there's, there's another ship in that verse. There's the leader. But then there's the followers. Amen. The, the leader said, y'all go to Galilee and I'll meet you there. But he had some followers. Uh, is this a word? Because I think they gave it to me yesterday. Followership. 
If not, they made it up and I'm just passing it on. Amen. There's followership. Amen. We got to be, we, amen. If you want to be blessed today, you got to learn how to follow. Many people are trying to lead, but they didn't follow anybody. You got to learn how to follow somebody. You got to follow directions. You got to do what the Lord says. You got to be obedient to the Lord. You got to know, amen, amen. Wherever he leads me, guess what the songwriter said? I will follow. Amen. I'll go wherever he tells me to go. I'll do whatever he tells me to do. I'll say whatever he tells me to say. Amen. I got to be a good follower. Hallelujah. And something about following Jesus. Oh, can I tell you all a secret? When you follow Jesus, he'll blow your mind. When you follow Jesus, amen, there's always a blessing in store for you. When you follow Jesus, when you do what the Lord says, the Lord will bless you. Hallelujah. So they, so they followed. They did what Jesus said. Amen. When you do what Jesus says, come on somebody. When you do what Jesus says, when, when you go where he tells you to do, when you show up where he tells you to show up, guess what? Amen. He will show up too and he will be right there with you. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, come on. That's, that's two. I found two ships. Amen. I found two ships in that verse. Amen. 2817, I think there's another, at least one ship in verse 17, when they saw him. Oh, this is an easy one. Everybody should have this one. They worshiped him. That's the key. Amen. The, the, the thing to do in your life is learn how to worship the Lord. Amen. Wor worship is a ship that will give you power. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Listen, if you want to go up, you got to learn how to bow down. Amen. They worshiped him when, when, when they saw Jesus. Come on. Come on. When you see the Lord, you got to learn how to bow down to him. You got to learn how to submit to him. You got to learn how to acknowledge that he is God and there is none like him. Amen. They worshiped him. They submitted to him. And when we submit to him, then we have access. Come on, you ought to tell your neighbor you have access when you submit. When, amen. The Bible says, cast your cares on him because he cares for you. The Bible says, when you cast your cares on him, guess what the Bible says? He will lift you up. He will exalt you. Amen. In due time. Amen. 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 You get access to his I found three ships, y'all. All I found is three ships so far. Amen. But I know it's more than three ships, so I... The 18th verse. There's another ship in verse 18. Oh, this is a deep ship. Everybody wants all the other ships, but they don't want this ship. And Jesus came and spoke to them saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and earth. There's a ship in there called Lordship. See, a lot of people want him to be the Savior. They want him to be some kind of holy Santa Claus, some kind of holy Easter bunny, yeah. passing out gifts, amen, blessing them, giving them some kind of genie in a lamp. You rub it and, and you make three wishes with Jesus and, and Jesus will give you whatever you want. That's not the way it works. Amen. There's a ship called Lordship. That, that means, amen, that I acknowledge his authority. Amen. That, 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 the, that he has authority over my life. I worship him. Amen. Amen. I'm glad he saved me. Amen. But now I want to acknowledge him as my Lord. I want to acknowledge him as the king. I, I want to acknowledge him as the ruler of my life. Amen. What does it mean? What does it mean? See, this is the trouble ship, so I had, to do some, I had to do some digging on this ship because I want people to call this ship up. Amen. Amen. The Lordship of Christ. Because when you acknowledge him as Lord, then he becomes responsible for your life. But, but, but as long as you are in control, 
then you got to deal with the issues. Amen. But when you acknowledge him as Lord, the Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all your self ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Watch this one. Delight yourself in the Lord. Somebody ought to be with me about now. Delight. Praise the Lord. Be happy with God. Delight yourself in the Lord. And, and guess what? You don't even have to beg him. Amen. Amen. He will give you the desires of your heart. Align yourself with him. Acknowledge that he is Lord. He has all authority. All power is in his hand. He has authority over sickness. He has authority over evil. He has authority over sin. He has authority over death. He has all authority. Not just on earth, but he has authority in heaven and earth that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is what? Lord. Amen. Have you acknowledged him as Lord? Hallelujah. He has risen from the dead. And guess what? He is. He is Lord. Oh, oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. How many ships is that? One, two, three, four, four. Let's see. Two, four. Four, four ships. I think it's some more ships in there. You know, there's always some ships, some things in the picture that you can't find. Matthew 28, 19. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations. Stewardship. See, sometimes we just only limit stewardship to money. But stewardship is, is about more than money. Stewardship is about acknowledging that everything belongs to the Lord. And, and whatever we have, we have by stewardship. So, so if we don't want to run our ship aground, we got to first of all acknowledge that the church, the ship, belongs to the Lord. Upon this, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The purpose, amen, it's a stewardship purpose, is to glorify God. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. But it ain't about you. It's not for you to get trophies and plaques and pats on the back and people calling your name. But when you do your good for the glory of God, then God will get the glory. And you really want to see some miracles happen in your life. Learn how to glorify God with your life. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. And if God sees that he can trust you with it, if you're faithful over a few things, he'll elevate you and take you to another level and give you even more. Hallelujah. Stewardship. What am I supposed to be doing? The mission is in stewardship. Be faithful to the mission. Make disciples. Then the vision. The vision ain't really about down here. The vision is to live with him forever. You want to know what my goal is? My goal ain't to please y'all. My goal is to please God. My, my goal ain't to stay down here. My goal, heaven is my goal. Come on, somebody, heaven. Amen. I'm looking at heaven. I, I'm looking at eternity with the Lord. Amen. So my vision is heaven. My, my ship is on the way to heaven. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right. Stewardship. Then 19B, there's another one. And we sometimes want to dismiss this one, but this one is important. Baptize them in the name of the Father uh -huh. and of the Son uh -huh. and of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Membership. Yes. Yes. I used to have a shirt. Had like a MasterCard credit card on the front. Mm -hmm. But then on the back, it said, Membership All right. has 
is privileges. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. When, when, you, when you are a member of something, when, when you are a part, see, see, I'm a member of the church, and because I'm a member, I have some privileges that are afforded me. Come on, come on. I, I, I know, don't get uncomfortable, but, but don't you want to be a member of God's family? Don't you want to be a member of God's household? Don't you want to be a member of the body of Christ? I'm just using Bible. Paul says we are members of one another. Membership. Got to keep moving this thing. Because there, wait, wait, there. 28. There's another ship. Teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. An essential ship. This, this one will keep you on track. It's called discipleship. Why, why many of us struggle is because we've answered the call of membership. But we've avoided discipleship. Amen, amen. We, we, we know how to praise the Lord. We know how to sing the songs. But, but do you know how to walk the walk? Do you, do you know how to live it? Do you, do you know how to, how to align your will with God's will? Do, do, do you know how to do what Jesus said do? Do you know how to keep his commandments? Because the blessing is in keeping his commandments. Jesus says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Then he said to his disciples, here's how people will know that you believe long to me because of your love for one another. If the church is shrinking or missing in love it's because we've skipped discipleship. You need to sit up under somebody and let somebody teach you about what it means to follow Jesus. It's more than name it and claim it. It's more than a praise here and there. But it's a walk with Jesus. You got to learn how to walk in his ways. You got to learn how to live it. Discipleship. Okay. Oh. Now this is the last one. I, I think. This last 28B says, And lo, I am with you. Always, even to the end of the age. And this, I think, is the most important ship. Because if you miss the others, this one will pull you back in. Amen. Matter of fact, it's, it's three of them together. This one is triplets. That, there's triplets in this verse. Lo, I am with you always. Even to the end of the age. Relationship. Come on. Come on. This is a big ship. And you got to be related. Amen. First of all, you got to be related to the father. And you're related to the father through the son. Because he died for you on Calvary. So you have a, a, a father, son, father, daughter relationship. I know I'm a child of God. Even though I may move so slow. Amen. I know. I know he loves me. I, I've got a relation. Nothing can separate me from the love of God. I have a relationship with God. But, but because I have a relationship, I can go to the next level. He's not just an acquaintance amen but he's a friend come on anybody need a friend in the house he is a friend that sticks closer than any brother amen no longer do I call you servants but guess what now I call you friends cause servants don't know what the master is doing but a friend I tell a friend everything he walks with me he talks with me he tells me that I am his own I got a friendship Oh, but I got one more. Told you, triplets. Fellowship. There's nothing like the fellowship. The songwriter said, what? A fellowship. What a joy. Divine. Leaning on the everlasting Lord. What a blessedness. What a peace is mine. I'm leaning. Hallelujah. Leaning. Leaning, 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 leaning on the everlasting all, safe and secure from all alarm. Cause I'm leaning, 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 
Lady on the other left. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to make it to the destination because I got some ships that are guiding me. I got some ships that are leading me. Hallelujah. 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 I'm here to tell somebody the Lord will make a way somehow, sometimes feel like I'm tossed and driven on an angry sea of time. Hallelujah. Don't know why I'm going through what I'm going through. But I tell my soul, don't worry. The Lord, the Lord will make a way. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, he'll make a way. The Lord will make a way. Somehow, somehow, tell your neighbor, somehow, somehow, the Lord, the Lord will make a way. He'll make a way. Somehow, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he make a way? Out of no way, he'll make a way. Yes! Yes! I'll make it! I'll make it! Would you stand on your feet? Hallelujah! Put your hands together! Put your hands together! Hallelujah! I'm about to get in trouble. I'm about to get in trouble. Because sometimes when we go old school, we, we lose generations. But I went to a church called Mount Zion Baptist Church. And Mount Zion had a theme song. It's the old ship of Zion. It's the old ship of Zion. It's the old ship of Zion. Then they say, get on board. Get on board. Get on board. It has landed many a thousand. It has landed many a thousand. Get on board. We're saying to somebody today, it's a big ship. Get on board. Get on board. Tis the old Lord, the church is open. Ship of Come on, doors, the church is Zion. open. It's the old ship of Zion. Tis the old, the old. ship of Zion. Anybody want to get on board? Get on Anybody want to get on board? Anybody want to get on board? Come on, we invite somebody to get on board today. The door of the church is open. The door of the church is open. If you're here today, hallelujah. Get on, get on board. board. And them sisters saying, King Jesus. It has yeah. Landed yeah. many a thousand. It has landed many a thousand. It has landed. Many a thousand. You better get on board. Get on. Get on board. 
Come on, put your hands together. Praise the Lord in the house. Praise the Lord in the house. Hallelujah. We invite you. Amen. If, if you're out there sinking, amen, we invite you to get on board the ship. Amen. Get on board the ship. We want you to be saved. We want you to be delivered. Amen. We want you to get from where you are to where God wants you to be. Come on. We want you to get from where you are to where God wants you to be. And the way he wants, he made a way for you already through his son, Jesus Christ. You don't have to get yourself together. You can come to him just as you are. Just as you are. Just as you are. And he will get you together. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you in the house of God. You may be seated. God bless. God bless. Come on, come on. How many ships did you get? Amen. I know I, I know I got at least seven ships. Amen. I know there's more than seven, but I got at least seven of those ships. Amen. How many ships? Who got the most ships in the house? Amen. Anybody get more than seven? I got more than seven. I preach more than seven. Come on, y'all. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Y'all lost count about two. Okay, I understand. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. What a mighty and awesome God we serve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We hope you were blessed with the word today. Amen. We're on a big ship, y'all. We're on a big ship. Amen. Amen. But King Jesus, he's our captain. And he's going to make sure that we make it to the other side. Amen. Amen. Our trustees are there. They're giving me them signals. I love them so much. Amen. They're coming now. Let us prepare to give our tithes and our offerings. Amen. Prepare to give our tithes and our offering. Amen. Amen. We need to make a special uh, what we're having to do. I told you we're doing a lot of adjustments this year. We're doing a lot of adjustments. Our, our deacons, poor saints offering that we use to help people that are in need. Amen. That's been depleted. We've been helping people. Come on. We've been helping people. Amen. Amen. And so because of that, we're going we're gonna to do with the benevolent offering what benevolence means. Amen. So when you see the, the special offering bucket, amen, our benevolence for the next few months, amen, is going to be committed to replenishing and rebuilding the deacon's fund. Everybody hear what I'm saying? Amen. We got to help that fund because that's how we help other people. All right? And I look at the treasurer's report, and our ministries are pretty healthy. Amen? Everybody can always want more, but the ministries are pretty healthy. But our deacon's fund needs our assistance at this time. Amen. So we're going to commit and we're going to dedicate ourselves, amen, to supporting the deacons fund for the next few months. Every benevolent offering, amen, that we receive is going to be going toward the deacons poor saints offering. Amen. And we'll do what we have to do as a church, but we need to rebuild that fund. Somebody say amen. amen. At least my board members, deacons and trustees, because y'all voted for it, say amen. Amen. I hear him. I hear him. I'm going to try to get one more time for the Holy Ghost. Amen. There we go. Amen. I want to make sure everybody understands what's happening at this time. Amen. Give as the Lord has always blessed you to give. Amen. Give as the Lord has blessed you to give. Amen. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for your blessing. Every good and every perfect gift comes from you. Whatever we have, we've received it from you, Lord God. And now, Lord God, we seek to worship you with our giving. Bless the offerings that are given this day, especially bless our deacon's fund, that it can be replenished and built up, that we can help others. Bless not only offering, Lord God, but bless those who give in a special way. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.
is worthy to be praised. Today is our first Sunday where we celebrate Holy Communion. Amen. We celebrate. It's a memorial that Jesus Christ asked us. He said, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. Remember that I died for you. I gave my body for you. That's the bread. Remember that I shed my precious blood for you. That's the cup. Amen. And so as often as we take it, it reminds us of our union with Christ and his death, burial, amen, and also his resurrection. Amen. Amen. It's a, it's a renewal of our commitment 
to each other. Amen. We got to love each other. Uh, we got to forgive. Amen. Amen. We got to show mercy, be compassionate to one another. Uh, by this, people will know that you are my disciples, by your love for one another. And this helps us love, y'all. This helps us love. Amen. So let us get ready to prepare ourselves. We'll start with our com uh, covenant, reading of our covenant. Amen. Following the reading of the covenant, uh, we shall bless the elements and celebrate holy communion. Amen. Uh, Minister Letitia is going to lead us in the reading of the covenant. Let's stand for the reading of the covenant, please. Good morning. Good morning. Having been led, as we believe, by the Spirit of God to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior, and on the profession of our faith, having been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we do now, in the presence of God, angels, and this assembly, most solemnly and joyfully enter into covenant with one another as one body in Christ. We engage, therefore, by the aid of the Holy Spirit to walk together in Christian love, to strive for the advancement of this church and knowledge and holiness, to give it a place in our affections, prayers, and services above every organization of human origin, to sustain its worship, ordinances, discipline, and doctrine, to contribute cheerfully and regularly as God has prospered us towards its expenses for the support of a faithful and evangelical ministry among us, the relief of the poor, and the spread of the gospel throughout the world. In case of difference of opinion in the church, we will strive to avoid a contentious spirit. And if we cannot unanimously agree we will cheerfully recognize the right of the majority to govern. We also engage to maintain family and secret devotion, to study diligently the word of God, to religiously educate our children, to seek the salvation of our kindred and acquaintance, to walk circumspectly in the world, to be kind and just to those in our ploy, and faithful in the service we promise others, endeavoring in the purity of heart and goodwill towards all men to exemplify and commend our holy faith. We further engage to watch over, to pray for, to exhort and stir each other unto every good word and work, to guard each other's reputation not needlessly exposing the infirmities of others, to participate in each other's joys, and with tender sympathy, bear one another's burdens and sorrows, to cultivate Christian courtesy, to be slow to give or take offense, but always ready for reconciliation, being mindful of the rules of the Savior in the 18th chapter of Matthew, to secure it without delay. And through life, amid evil report and good report, to seek to live to the glory of God, who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. When we remove from this place, we engage as soon as possible to unite with some other church where we can carry out the spirit of this covenant and the principles of God's word. Amen. Amen. Church, say amen. 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 This is a very uh, important moment that we share. Uh, this helps us to be bound together as members of one another as members of the body of Christ. Amen. When we each eat of the bread, we are all eating of his body. When we share in the drinking from the cup, amen, we are sharing, we are sharing, amen, in his blood. 
in his suffering. He said, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. Amen. Let us pray. Dear God, we ask that you would bless these elements that we take today. Bless the bread that represents your body. Bless the cup that represents your precious blood. For you said without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. So, Lord, we thank you for dying for us. We thank you for giving your life for us. We thank you for loving us. Now, Lord God, before we take this, help us to examine ourselves. And, Lord, if there's anything within us, would you bring it to our remembrance? Expose it, Lord. And, Lord, we confess right now. and We seek your forgiveness right now. Forgive us of our sins, Lord God. Forgive us of our transgressions. Forgive us of the times that we've fallen short of your glory. Have mercy upon us, Lord God. Have mercy upon us. Give us clean hearts and renewed minds and restore the joy of our salvation. And as we take this communion, these communion elements this day, Lord God, Help us to grow deeper in our love for you and our love for each other. And help us, Lord God, to be witnesses of your glory. We thank you for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. So he took the bread and he blessed it and he passed it to them and he said, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Let us eat together. In the same manner, he took the cup and he blessed it and he passed it to him. He said, take, drink, this is my blood shed for you. Let us drink together. say amen. Let me just say two, two things real quickly. Amen. Uh, be aware that Sister Delphine Burden will deliver her initial sermon on next Sunday morning. Sister Delphine Burden will deliver her initial sermon on next Sunday morning and become a, a minister in training of our church. Amen. We praise God. Remember that we're doing the Narcan training sign up. Amen. People will be with clipboards as you exit the sanctuary. Amen. We praise God for all of you that come. And thank you for worshiping with us. Amen. Uh, all hearts clear. Let's stand. Amen. God is an awesome God. Tell your neighbor, this is a big ship with a big mission. Let's depend on the other ships. There you go. Amen. Now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with everyone here, both now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Consider yourselves dismissed. And forevermore. In the name of Jesus, we pray.